Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing in the Chloe and Malika collection from Becca Cosmetics. Not only was I happy seeing them collaborate with somebody else, but two best friends like Chloe and Malika, I love them just like I love Desi and Katie together. I just think that they are so cute. And then I saw the collection, I absolutely had to have it. So I've picked up everything except for one a lipstick. I'm gonna go through everything and then I'm going to show you guys a tutorial. I use this on my face as well as on my eyes and I swatch all the lipsticks for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I said I grabbed everything but one lipstick but I also didn't grab the second palette that Malika made. I grabbed the Chloe one. So this is the Made with Love by Chloe and it is the Becca BFF's Bronze Blush and Glow Palette. And this feels really nice in your hand. It feels luxurious. I love this little heart right here, like the best friend's heart. It's raised up. Super cute. And then on the back, we have all the names of what is on the inside. You have a large mirror, and then these are the shades. We have a highlighter, two blushes, and a bronzer. What it is is a limited edition full face palette created in collaboration with Becca BFF's Chloe Kardashian and Malika Hack. I don't know how to say her last name. Easy to use, all in one, Becca and Khloe Kardashian and Malika bronze blush and glow palette features Becca's soft focus highlighter, satin matte bronzer, and two shades of fan favorite radiant blush. The sheer buildable shades are infused with light technology to softly scatter and reflect light to smooth the look of skin and create natural lit from within glow. Everything you need to bronze blush and glow. The palette retails for $44. I'm going to show you guys the swatches, but it was really hard for me to show you <laughs> because my daughter's not here, but I did my best. Plus, we're about to see me put it on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So I first took my Royal Lane Nickel BOM 36 and the Coco Bronze and I took that and I just bronzed up the skin with it. I was happy with the tone of this bronzer. I didn't find it to be patchy or anything like that. It's a light tone. I don't think that this is going to work on anything probably more than NC25, NC30. I think anything above that it's going to be too dark and you might want to go for the Malika one, but I have not swatched that one. Then I'm going to show you both blushes on each of the cheeks and I used two different brushes because I didn't want to like contaminate them. <laughs> so I first went in with the lighter of the two on my Linda Hallberg 310. This is the shade Fierce and I just took that and applied it and as you can see this one's a lot lighter and it kind of gives you almost a highlighted effect right off the bat. Then on the opposite side, I took my Smith 118 and the shade Fabulosity, and I applied it to the opposite side. Now, personally, I prefer the darker shade in this palette, but I went back and I just kind of evened them up so that they would be the same on each side, so it wasn't light and then darker. <laughs> and I like them actually mixed together, and what I found with the Be A Light palette, which kind of reminded me of this when I first saw it. I was like, eh, because I didn't like that palette at all. I was really scared that these were going to be too luminous because they are. They are quite luminous, but what I did was kept it further back away from my pore area, and I don't find that I have a whole lot of texture. Like, it definitely does add a little bit, but it's also, it looks skin-like, so I actually like these, whereas the one in the Be A Light palette I felt like it was more intense than this one. I don't know what it was, and it was just like this little bar that it was hard to get a hold of the product. I like the size of this much better, but I am happy with the way both of them looked on my cheeks, but even happier with them combined. And then to highlight, I took my Royal Lang Nickel BOM 41 and the shade Glow Up, and I popped that right on the cheekbones. Also brought it right up on my forehead a little bit, on my nose, and on my chin. Now I also used this on my eyes today, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that just like super duper quickly. I started off with the bronze shade on a Tom Ford number 13, and this is the synthetic version, just so you guys know. 
pop that into the crease and slightly on the outer corner. And then I took the Tom Ford number 12 and I buffed that right along the lower lash line. And then with a Tom Ford number 11, again synthetic, I took the lighter blush and I just popped that right all over the lid. And then the highlight shade on a Smith 256 on my inner corner and brow arch. Like it was a super easy eye look. All I did was add on boss liner to the top rim and then mascara like super duper easy and then everything really flows the next thing we have is this little guy right here it is a cardboard unfortunately little cylinder and it is called the becca bfs glow letters sweethearts and when you open it up you have like this little foam thing that protects the letters but then you have like 10 letters in here so that's what that looks like according to the website again it's a limited edition it's a bundle of x and o and heart shaped highlighters that create a soft focus glow for face and eye i don't see how you're really gonna use these on your eyes unless you really pin one of those suckers down and get a hold of it, but I mean, that's just my opinion. It says, the innovative mini baked highlighter letters are great for everyday beauty to get a piece of the Becca BFFs Chloe and Malika glow. And this little guy retails for $18. Now I took this with my new Tom Ford synthetic bronzer brush and I went kind of around the perimeter of my face. When I touch these, it's hard for me to really get a swatch of them, but when I touch them, they have more of that bronzy glow. So I just took my brush and as you can see, it has more of like that bronziness to it. And I just kind of went around the perimeter of my face. I could see a little extra glow, but nothing major. And then I went ahead and I buffed like I normally do with my Sicily powder. I picked up three of the limited edition lipsticks. The one that I am missing is the darkest, more true red in the shade Brave. It's supposed to be a true red with cool undertones. I just skipped that and I grabbed these. Online it says that the lipstick formula is a silky satin lip, long wearing color infused with next generation of hyaluronic acid to hydrate and smooth the appearance of lips. Ultra creamy, pure color pigments and light reflecting oils deliver high impact, luxurious color in a single swipe. Infused with lip loving avocado oil, the ultra comfortable formula nourishes lips, leaving them kissably smooth and drenched in illuminated color. And they retail for $24 a piece. The one that I have on right now is the shade Truly Yours, and I have this on with MAC Strip Down. So now I'm gonna get into my thoughts on the collection, and I'm gonna start off with the palette. So packaging A++, I think they <laughs> did such a good job. It's so cute, feels nice in your hands, and the product inside, I'm so happy to say that I like, because honestly, I really did not like the Be A Light palette. And I think the reason why you have like two different like setting or buffing powders, finishing powders, and I didn't, I don't know, there was something about them on the skin that I didn't like. I liked them initially, and then they looked weird. N nothing has looked weird. I went and ate lunch before I finished this video, like after I did like the tutorial and everything. Everything is settling very nicely on my skin. I feel like I have that lit from within kind of look. I like the highlighter. It is definitely more on the natural side. However, get this thing wet, and you're definitely going to be more on the blingy side, but I wanted to stay more along the glowing from within. I like both of these blushes. I honestly did not think I would, but be careful if you have pores, if you have texture, if you break out right here. I know I used to. I would stay away from these blushes. They are going to add texture absolutely 100% without a doubt. I don't know what it is about these that, because you look at them and you swatch them and they are definitely more on the glowy side. I didn't like the Becca Be A Light blush at all on me, so I don't know if these are just slightly less intense. I don't have that palette anymore. I took it back, but there's just something about these that I think are really pretty. I just would be really careful about texture. The highlight I think is gorgeous. I don't know if I already said that. And the bronzer I actually really like as well. I like this whole palette on my face. It feels very natural, feels very glowy, and I am here for it. So this to me 
is beautiful as long as you don't mind a very radiant finish. And the bronzer is a satin finish, so you don't have to worry about that being like super glowy as well. Which brings me to the letters. I'm gonna take off this little piece of whatever you want to call it. Um, so these, like even trying to get a swatch of these, it's just difficult. I mean, tr yeah. Like you can see it definitely has more of like that bronzy kind of glow to it. I couldn't get a picture of a swatch to save my life that actually looked anything like anything. But you have like 10 X's and O's and hearts or whatever in here. And there's, I really don't see you being able to use this as eyeshadow unless you get it on your finger and put it on. No, nobody doing that. Nobody's doing that. $18. I think the packaging was a fail. I think the amount of letters you get in here is a fail. I would rather have seen them go all the way. Like with the Guerlain meteorites, you have this beautiful packaging. I know we're talking about a difference between Guerlain and Becca, but something along this line would have been so much nicer. Even if it was a screw top of plastic packaging, this is, you know, tin, it's a metal, but you take this off, you also have that little guy there to protect, but you have so many more, you, you have a lot of balls in here, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> There's so much more product in here and you're able to like really swish around your brush and use the product how it's intended. So I feel like if they would have made just like a regular powder container that was made of plastic, put more X's and O's in here and maybe made it $25, $30. I would have rather have seen that and actually gotten some use out of it because I think that if it had been done properly, it would have been better to use all over for adding that bronzy glow. Whereas this, I just, honestly, I'll probably take this back. This feels like something that was made from e.l.f. And that's not a diss to e.l.f., that is a diss to Becca because I don't know what this is. This is just a fail. As far as the lipsticks go, I love every color that I picked up. I simply just didn't pick up the regular red just because I feel like I didn't need the regular red. Honestly, I didn't need any of these colors, but I wanted them. So <laughs> The packaging is really nice. It feels nice in your hand. It seems like there is a slight, yeah, there is a magnetic closure on these. It says Becca on the side. The texture of these are phenomenal. They feel so good on the lips. Very pigmented. Uh, they're not drying at all. I love the formula of these. There's one thing I have to say though, and that is that there is the slightest, and I do mean slightest, not enough to bother me, not enough to make me want to take these back, but the slightest hint of a crayon smell. Not like it's gone bad or anything like that, but just... Like I don't smell it now, so it's not bothering me. You know a lot of times when a lipstick goes bad and then you can smell it even after you've put it on, it's just disgusting. That hasn't happened, but I do wanna mention that there is a slight smell of that. But other than that, these are beautiful. Again, I think they did a great job. So I like everything that I got with the exception of this. Like I just feel like this was an afterthought. Like they threw it together all of a sudden and it could have been so much better. The product in and of itself, like the little X's and O's are cute. They do add just like a little bit of a luminous finish. I just I could do without this. So I'm likely going to return this. I, it's not what I expected. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are picking any of this up and what you think about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.